The struggles of Addison Rae. You know how much she was struggling? I'm being serious right now. I read a sad story about Addison where she's saying how she went through so much. And I understand it though. The pain that she must be feeling of being rich, it sucks. And she tweeted, I regret not surprising myself with customized chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> First world problems. She posted this poll on Twitter and she asked, where was I born? LA, Texas, or Louisiana? Where was I born? Where was I born? Where was I born? Who gives Kim, people are dying. Hey, what's up? Edison Ray is weird as shit. Don't let the 11 year old fan pages hear that. Otherwise you're canceled. Yep, we love Addison, huh? Peace Addison, we love Addison. Why was no one gonna tell me how weird Addison Ray is? No one. I, I looked it up. No one has ever talked about how fucking weird Addison Ray is. Am I the only one here? I looked up Addison Ray for the first time ever. And I was like, what? Hold up, because there's so much going on. I'm literally speechless right now. Let me just show you everything. Now, you take a look at her Instagram page. What do you see? Nothing, just a regular ass Instagram page of Addison with her pictures or whatever. But you know what's weird about this? The captions. Look at this shit. Hi, if you're reading this, don't forget to smile today. I also feel like making longer captions. So here's this. I love you all and am forever thankful for the love and support I've received through this year. I cannot express enough how grateful and blessed I am. Be yourself. The people meant to be in your life can handle it. 20 heart emojis. Now, you're probably saying, okay, so she's just being nice and telling people that she's very grateful, whatever. But it's not just that. Every single post is like that. Hold up, look at this. Just me and my jeans. What the fuck is this? Addison, are you okay? Are you being held hostage? What's, what's going on? So then going to her Twitter, it's the same thing. It's just her being so weird. Like, good morning, cuties. Birds heart emojis. Hi, my sunshines. At this point, I'm like, wait, hold up. How old is Addison Ray? Because I figured she'd be 16, 17. Because it sounds like she's 12 and she's talking to her besties that are like 8 years old. But then I realized that she's 20 years old. 20. But the way she talks to them, it's like... They're all eight years old and I kind of understand it that they're all young. But I just hate the fact that she's being so fake about this. Compare Jojo, a 17 year old, with Addison Rae, a 20 year old. While Jojo is out here talking like a normal human being and not a robot. Even when she promotes stuff for her younger audience because we all know Jojo's audience. At least she's not talking like a fucking weirdo. Good morning cuties, how are you my sunshines today? Don't forget, be kind today guys because being kind is an amazing and peaceful thing. Yep, be kind guys. Also, while you're being kind, don't forget to buy my merch. Love you cuties. Am I the only one that finds that creepy? We have a 20 year old that's so obsessed with herself and the fact that she has never had a real job. She has never worked in her entire life. She's so privileged and she's so lucky. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm judging her way too much. Let's see the positives that Addison has done besides her just talking on social media, how you should always stay positive because you should be positive all the time, guys. Always smile. You got issues going on? Fuck that shit. Be positive, guys, and just smile. Keep smiling. <laughs> so she has this pinned tweet where it says, 
Stay informed. Let's click on it and see what it says. Ways you can help. When you're done, educate yourself. Okay, that's nice. This doesn't go away once the topic isn't trending. Let me, let me get this straight. Didn't Addison Ray have the Black Lives Matter profile picture? And then as soon as it wasn't trending anymore, she removed it. <laughs> but remember kids, this doesn't go away once the topic isn't trending. So I'm scrolling through her Twitter and I couldn't help but realize that everything is about her. She is so self-centered. Literally, everything is about her. She posted this poll on Twitter and she asked, where was I born? LA, Texas, or Louisiana? Where was I born? Where was I born? Where was I born? Who gives a shit? Kim, people are dying. How old am I? 19, 20, 21, 18. Does no one find that to be like really fucking weird? Imagine if Ariana Grande posted that. I don't know why she's so weird on social media. Maybe it's not even her, it's a manager that takes care of her social media or whatever. But it sounds like a 50 year old creep that's on social media and he's asking little kids, Hey little kids, how old am I? Oh, you got that right. So. How old are you? <laughs> Addison, I know you're trying to cater to your younger audience, but even Jojo Siwa, who's 17, and honestly, Jojo is the best comparison. She's 17, and you would never see her on social media asking questions like, oh guys, how old am I? It sounds like you're saying that most of your audience is like five years old, and you're asking them, kindergarten questions. Hey guys, how old do you think I am? You got that right kids! No one else finds that creepy and weird? If you take a look at her Twitter, it's mostly her retweeting pictures from her fan pages of just pictures of Addison. Literally, it's just pictures of Addison that fan pages post. So then she got featured on British Glamour magazine or whatever when Addison said, for me a lot of people have said, Oh, I love how comfortable she is and she doesn't look like the beauty standard. It's a backhanded compliment. It hurts when people say that because I think everyone's perfect. So why is there some standard of this body is the ideal body? She doesn't look like the beauty standard? What? She looks like every Instagrammer ever. What's so different about Addison Rae from the other Instagrammers? The struggles of Addison Ray. You know how much she was struggling? I'm being serious right now. I read a sad story about Addison where she's saying how she went through so much and I understand it though. The pain that she must be feeling of being rich, it sucks. And she tweeted, I regret not surprising myself with customized chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> Poor Addison, how did no one think of giving to Addison chocolate covered strawberries. What the fuck is wrong with the world? She's over here spreading positivity and no one, not even a single soul, gives Addison chocolate covered strawberries? Ugh, oh, what a cruel world. Rich people's problems. Your face, your body, and soul, they're all good enough. Approved by Addison Ray, a very rich person. Listen, no hate to Addison Ray. Keep doing whatever you're doing. You're doing obviously you're doing a great job at it, but you are literally the definition of beauty privilege. And I hate the fact, I really hate the fact that she's spreading this fake positivity everywhere when she doesn't understand shit of what people are going through around the world. You can't come out here knowing nothing about how the real world works when we actually have to work. You know, we work, we get tired and we barely get paid for anything, but you don't know about that, Addison. Don't come online spreading fake positivity when the real world is not like that. 
No one's positive like that because we don't live in a rich bubble like you do. Obviously, I'm not saying that I've done more shit than Addison because she's probably donated more money than I ever will in my life. But don't act like the world has no problems, especially when you're the one to tell people to stay informed and you tell them to educate themselves because this doesn't go away once the topic isn't trending, but then you're changing your profile picture the next day. I thought we weren't supposed to do that just because it was trending, right? Let me just end this video with a really positive note from Addison Ray, one of my favorites. You are doing the best you can, and that is more than enough. So uh, hit like and subscribe guys if you're feeling very positive today and also keep in mind that you have to go to work tomorrow and struggle because that's how the world works. But Addison gets to stay home and post a couple of TikToks where she gets a couple million dollars because that's beauty privilege for you. Oh, what did you say? You're not beautiful? I'm sorry that happened to you, but just don't forget Addison loves you and you are doing the best you can and that's more than enough. By the time you're watching this, I am most likely canceled by the Addison Ray fans, so. But I'll just keep in mind that Addison Ray loves me, so uh, I won't stress anymore. Thank you, Addison. Let's spread some positivity in the comment section, guys. So uh, let's be nice to each other.